Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of American Truck Simulator. I am the Sock Monkey and I am currently sitting in Hornbrook, California. We're going to go take a ride down to Reading to pick up a load. I'm going to straighten up my wheels here. I just dropped off a big giant loop. loop. We just dropped off a big giant load of steel tubing. And we're going to head off. We're just going to go down this single lane here. And you know what? I probably should head in and top up my tank real quick. Top off. All right, three hundred and sixteen dollars later, we are topped off. Oh, crap. I'm gonna get out of this place here. We gotta get out of this place. Alright, so we're just gonna get out. Um, I was just listening to some people babble on about uh, election returns. Uh, hey, that reminds me of a really funny uh, joke. Uh, What's so bad about ancient history professors? They often tend to babble on. Hey, uh, can I uh, slither into your chamber of secrets? Uh, you can't, but my griffin door isn't working. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I damaged my rig. Oh, I need to visit service. Yep, my engine light's on. That's bad juju there. Uh, we're gonna go to Reading real quick. It's gonna take three hours. Oh, crud. <laughs> my fans is upset that I, uh, found some Harry Potter funds. Um, ruler found... Ruler loved his friend Abacus because he knew he could always count on him. <laughs> that reminds me of the one time my fiance went to take her car in for servicing. She, uh, the bill was $288. I told her it was too gross. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. Alright, so... Turn up the turn signals. A hand-stitched talking bear is trying to fit in with society, and his name is Seems Legit. Alright, so we got Diesel to El Centro. Uh, uh, Reading to Bakersfield, Reading to Barstow, Reading to Barstow, Reading to Los Angeles. Uh, got a digger to Santa Cruz. I don't think we've driven to Santa Cruz yet. Uh, I got some meats I could take from Reading to Reading. Uh, forklifts from Reading to Fresno. Rudolph the Fresno reindeer had a very shiny nose. Uh, viewers, I like to think I'm always on time with my jokes. I guess you could say I'm pretty punctual. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta get... Oh, it's only three miles. It shouldn't take me very long at all to get three miles. Alright, so... Ah. 
frame frame rate bitch. Yay, frame rate or frame rate drop. Frame rate something. So uh, my fiance uh, got me onto. A, uh, I started listening to a new book. I've been listening. Uh, I don't know if we have any Scott Sigler or junkies in the house, but I've been listening to um, uh, one of his uh, books in the GFL series. It's basically football meets uh, science fiction. It's a really awesome. Um, it's a really awesome. Uh, series so they got some new uh so it's uh they have some really awesome team names they got the orbiting death they got the ionath krakens they got the sky demolition they have the uh jane or the <laughs> the um the jane the jane adam smashers the jane adam smashers They've got the, um, Board Brigands. Yes, the Jane Adams Smashers! The Board Brigands, the Hattoni Hallwalkers. Oh, this guy's, uh, alright, so we got UPS guy over here just hanging out. Uh, was sit truck sitting there with his flashers on. Uh, one of my friends is a UPS driver. I don't think it's my friend Hayden, but, you know, you never know. No, it can't be. I don't know. I don't friggin' know. Up the Jane Adams Smashers, the Orbiting Death, the Ionath Krakens, the Y'all Criminals, the Hattoni Hallwalkers, But really, but in all seriousness, a really awesome series. I missed the we missed the opportunity last year to meet Scott Sidler. It was um, it would have been a really awesome experience. But he's a really good author. He writes some really good stuff. He really does. I mean, all right. So here we go. We have a uh, uh, um. All right, we have a uh, we have a Digger 500. That's another team name from one of the previous books, the Big Diggers. They're from a planet called Big. Enough with the stupid train! Enough with the stupid train already! I get it, you're a train! I get it, you're a train! You're coming to ruin my recording! Thanks! Yeah, I get it, you're a train! Ding, 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 ding! I get it! You can stop now! I get it! You're a train! Okay, yeah, you can knock off already. You can knock off already with the stupid train. Thank you. Alright, so... We're going down to Santa Cruz. I got. We're gonna go to a rest area in a few minutes. Um, but yeah, he's got. But yeah, the Galactic Football League. It's really awesome. He's. They've got this one coach named Hokor the Hook Chest. He's always like, run the plays that I call. And I'm. I'm always like telling my fiance, 
you know, when she's talking about work, run the images that I call. Run the images that I call, and I'm going to drive the uh, uh, loads that the game calls. Alright, so we're just about to leave this rest area. Let's see, more puns here. Um, are cats empathetic because they're feel lines? You know, get it? Feel lines. Oh, crap. That's 8% damage. Oh, damn, 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 damn. How could you be emotional? How could you say I'm mentally unstable at a time like this? The, uh, not, the day of my cat's quinceanera. Alright, let's see what else we got. How did you, how to defeat your enemies? Chop off their feet. <laughs> yes, my fans who just sent me the meme I was just talking about. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you call me mentally unstable? I miss the day of my kids' kids in <laughs> Yes, beep beep to you too. Beep beep. Beep beep. I know I got stuck. Beep beep to you too. <laughs> beep beep, Richie. Who's Richie? Richie is the name of one of my friend's husbands, but I don't know who Richie is unless you're talking about Richie Rich. I don't know who you're talking about. Who's Richie? It's from IT. Who's IT? IT? Information Technology? Oh, Stephen King. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, the guy who uh, wrote Christine. Okay. Who are you calling a doof? <laughs> Although I like to, uh... Tease my fiance with the uh, bird memes like, I'm in your macaronis warming your feet. I'm in your macaronis warming my feet. <laughs> okay, you're going to make me watch the movie, okay. No, my fiance is informed me it is not the Jane Adams Smashers, it's the Jang Atom Smashers. Yes, it is the Jang Atom Smashers, not the Jane Adams Smashers. For some reason in my twisted brain, however, the Jane Adams Smashers just makes a lot more sense. Oh crap, speeding offense. Oh shoot, I gotta turn off this stupid thing. There's a plane, the plane, the plane, the plane. Oh God! Ever wonder what's under Trump's hair? Yeah, I'm recording this on election day, so I'm doing recording instead of like watching election stuff because I'm like, eh. I'd rather, uh, I'd rather record and drive my fiance nuts with bad puns while she's listening to me, uh, record and say things like, "I know a guy who's addicted to brake fluid. He he says he can stop any time." Hey, why couldn't the skeleton share the bad news? He didn't have the heart.
Hey viewers, how much does a hipster weigh in Instagram? Hey viewers, um... So viewers, I uh, had a gentleman want to sell me a casket the other day. I told him it was the last thing I need. What's a good thing about elevator jokes? They work on so many levels. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not dead yet. <laughs> I'm sure the elevator will fall. You know, are you talking about the elevator at Tower of Terror? I hope that doesn't fall on me either. Oh, god damn it. Another speeding ticket. Oh, crap. <laughs> the one that works on so many levels, yes, dear. If if middle age pirates were still alive, they'd probably be eat, meeting. They'd probably be eating at Arby's. <laughs> I feel sorry for shopping carts. They're always getting pushed around. I know, this pun isn't very funny. <laughs> My fiancé pulls them a lot. Shopping carts it is. But you have to admit, sweetie, these puns are very cheesy. They're very cheesy. <laughs> Yummy. Hun, would you say these puns are... Hun, would you say these puns are very good -a? <laughs> no, they're not very good. Uh. Sorry. Where do you go when it's... Where do you co go when you feel very cold in a square room? You go in the corners, they're always 90 degrees. <laughs> You have to admit, corners sometimes can be very acute. <laughs> Invisible planes, I can't quite see them taking off. <laughs> <laughs> the Jane Adam Smashers and the Board Brigands. Viewers, I was once in a supermarket and I saw a man and a woman wrapped up in a barcode. I asked, are you two an item? Let me tell you something else, viewers. I once was in a supermarket and I saw a man and a woman wrapped up in a barcode. I said, are you two one item? Barcodes, item, supermarket. No. Glass windows are a real pain. <laughs> Viewers, I once was offered a job as a litter removal man. I didn't have any training. I just thought I would pick it up as I go along. <laughs> The
This uh, gentleman said, one, I'll let you use my ice rink for 10 pence. I thought, what a cheapskate. Get it? What a cheapskate. Skate, ice rink. <laughs> I once played the back end of a wasp in a play, but I thought it was the bee's knees. <laughs> Buzz. Oh, great. Another speeding offense. I need to be careful. I'm only down to like two million dollars. I know, my puns are not very punny. <laughs> Yes, sweetie. That Arby's joke reminded me of a... I went to a church... Uh, annual church meeting once. And... Uh, there was a pastor who kept talking about something called Our Church's Wider Mission. But he kept saying, it's not Our Church's Wider Mission. So a bunch of... So every time this pastor got up to uh, speak for the rest of the weekend, they kept... These, all these other ministers kept saying "ar" when he went up to talk. I recently found out that that particular minister uh, was retiring, or he's uh, resigning um, due to age. Um, my mother forwarded this, this to me in an email. I told him, I told her that I hoped that this pastor, I wished him all the best on his retirement. Oh, another speeding ticket. Oh, my God. I need to watch it on the speeding. Otherwise, I'll be going nowhere fast. Okay, but speaking of going somewhere, we've got 73 miles left to go till we hit Santa Cruz, so... That's always a good thing. 69 miles left. Let's see. Wait, we got an exit coming up, so I'm going to I'm going to really slow down. Yep, I'm really going to be getting more into this uh book the uh all Pro by Scott Sigler. Looking forward to hearing more about the uh, Board Brigands and the Jane Addams Smashers. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, crap. My network connection lost, really? Why can't I load my puns? I can't load my puns. My phone's being very stupid today. Uh, this isn't working. I went to see Disney on Ice. It was a bit disappointing. It was just an old bloke in a freezer. I went to the shops looking to buy a jack-in-the-box, but none jumped out at me. <laughs> okay, 
being sent some puns on Twitter right now. I broke up with my gym. We were just not working out. Well, it's kind of funny because I... Uh, earlier this year, I ended up canceling my gym membership anyway. But anyway. The police think the... Uh, Murder weapon may have been a colander, but that theory doesn't hold water. Uh oh, twelve percent damage. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna get in the left lane. I took a poll recently and a hundred percent of people were annoyed that their tent had fallen down. going on with Verizon. My phone is being a duke. A doof. My first job was working at an orange factory, but I got canned. I couldn't concentrate. Womp, womp, womp. Good job, sweetie. What did Earth say to the other planets? You guys have no life. Oh shit, I stole my truck. Oh shit. Rolled backward and stalled it. Alright, so... If Donald Trump is elected, there will be hell to pay. Why are IT guys always alert? They drink a lot of Java. Tried to catch fog today. Missed. Alright, we're at Coastline Mining. I had a fair way to put this thing. Alright, let's play it safe. figure out where the hell we're supposed to go. Or are we supposed to go on this? Okay. This thing. This would Ah oh, fuck. <laughs> Swallowed two pieces of string and later they came out tied together, I shit you not. So, my fiance is crocheting her own wedding dress. I guess that makes her a really talented hooker. <laughs> Alrighty, everyone. That's uh, another run done. Too late, sweetie. 
Oh, only 3% damage. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Hey, I'll, I'll never let go with a Coke with a... Uh, share a Coke with Rose with Jack with the... Um, Jack being in the water. <laughs> I'm king of the world! I'm also the internet's worst truck driver. Alright, here on to Elko for $13,000. I've already been to all these places. Oh, bro. You knew that months ago? <laughs> yes, you did, sweetie. I guess we could take some sand to Hornbrook. Uh, cars to Bakersfield, cars to Oakland. <laughs> I am kind of driving better. Plows to Winnemucca. Uh, Oxnard. Okay, Oxnard's close by. Oakland. Oakland's not quite close by, but... Where the heck am I going? I don't know where I'm gonna go. I don't know. Where am I gonna go? Well, I'm already at Coastline Mining. I could just go to... Solo and Chewy. Good one, sweetie. Good one. But, but it, but then it's not about. But then you know it's not as good as the one about the Jane Adams Smashers. <laughs> oh fuck! Hmm. Why is it so hot in the stadium? All the fans left. Alright everyone, well, um, while I get my truck straightened out, I'm going to sign off for this episode. I hope everyone enjoyed this horribly pun-filled episode of American Truck Simulator, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.